My name is Irena Swanson and today I want to show you how to make these six rows of hourglass blocks with 35 seams. That is very fast. We will make it in the green and blue uh, alternating uh, version, but you could also do it in a two fabric version. So for our version, you will need um, light greens, dark greens, uh, and light blues and dark blues. Cut four strips of each of the four colors. All the strips should be cut at the same strip width. I cut them for this finished end at uh, five and a quarter inch, but probably five inches would work better. Once you have your strips, you sew them together, uh, just uh, monochromatic, only take only the green say, um, alternate lights and darks, and uh, press all the seam allowances towards the dark fabrics. Uh, once that is done, then make an accurate cut across. So now this is 45, uh, 90 degree angle on top. And then you sew the two outside edges together. And what you get is a tube. Press the latest seam in the same way. Turn it inside out. And here is such a primary white tube. From this primary white tube, you cut narrow tubes of the same width as all the strip widths. So here, um, uh, two, two of the primary narrow tubes were already cut out. Uh, I will use six of them from my primary white tube. You need to cut an even number of primary narrow tubes. Once you have the six um, primary narrow tubes, you sew them together. Because the um, seam allowances were pressed towards the dark, it's very easy to sew the tubes together, the seam allowances uh, uh, butt against each other, so that's great. And then back here, uh, in the green version, the dark uh, triangles are the ones that are bordering the other color. And that's why over here, you take the dark, one of the dark diagonals, it doesn't matter which one, and it doesn't matter if it's this angle or that angle. You take one of these dark diagonals and you want to mark at a quarter of an inch away from the diagonal, away from those vertices. You want to mark um, with a pencil a new cutting line. Okay. And then uh, remember this is a tube, there are two layers, you don't want to cut through the two layers. You start cutting with scissors and you cut all the way around, You have, mine is already marked on the other side, you cut all the way around and what you get after that cutting is a flat piece, it's no longer a tube, and it is something like this. All the, the cut is on the dark. So, with this we are uh, pretty much almost done with the greens. Now let's move to the blues. The blues have the lights touching the greens. So we repeat almost the same thing, except that the last cut is not through the darks, but it's through the lights. So you can have a good look of the two different types of cuts. And then comes the tricky part. The idea is that you can start to see hourglass blocks here. And this will be, uh, this could be a column of hourglass blocks, but this one here is missing something. Well, the missing part is over here. So we want to sew this edge to that edge. But if we first make the cut, then it will be much harder to find where to align this last seam. So don't cut first. Instead, do the slitting. So here I'm demonstrating this slitting. So it's the same type of parallelogram. I am doing the slits at a quarter of an inch away from the light diagonals. And I am not cutting all the way to the top. Just to about an inch or so. And once I have the, these slits, I take the bottom edge, sew it to the top edge, again aligning at these squares just like before. And here is the, that last seam sewn in the green version. Okay. 
So here, here is that seam, uh, the latest seam all pressed. And then all you do is you eyeball the slits uh, and extend them into full cuts. And here on this side, you extend the slit into a full cut. And what you get is one uh, column of almost hourglass blocks. Okay. So you get four of these. You get four of them in blue, four of them in green. And then you sew the blues and the greens together into something that looks almost like what we have up here. So here comes the big reveal how these uh, were actually made. So these used to be like that and there are some slivers of waste here and so on. So now if I take it this way, you can see that all we have to do is make vertical cuts a quarter of an inch from all of these points and we got to these four rows of, uh, sorry, six rows of hourglass blocks, okay? So, that does that demonstration, but I want to finish with, it is possible, of course, to take other color schemes. There is one, and here is another one, uh, where uh, it takes a little bit ex uh, more planning for this one. Okay. For more information, visit my www.tubepiecing.com.